searching for bodies in the rubble. In the afternoon on Friday, the 17th of August, 2018, this building collapsed, leaving many trapped inside. Officials say an emergency call to the FCT Emergency Management Agency alerted them to the situation. We got a call. Uh, through our uh, uh, emergency number 112 and uh, telling us about the, the, the uh, building collapse. And so uh, we rushed here. We were able to rescue six people and uh, one was fatally injured. And we are still searching to see if there are still people under the building. The vice president arrived at the venue of the building collapse sometime in the evening expressing dismay over the tragedy, commiserating with the families affected, and committing to ensuring rescue efforts continue. As far as the whole process of ensuring that those who may be trapped under this uh, collapsed building, the whole process of ensuring that they are rescued is well underway. As you can see, you know, all of the emergency equipment are here the earth movers and all the equipment that are required are here and I think that uh, there is enough uh, for us to expect that this should at least end in our being able to uh, rescue if uh, rescue anyone who may still be trapped uh, in this building. The rescue efforts continue way into the night as onlookers with each item of clothing found hope that a body has been found. Speculations are rife regarding the cause of the collapse, one of which is that an integrity test was not carried out before construction continued after the building was abandoned for many years. The structure is, is a three-story building, uh, is a frame structure, uh, it's been going on for uh, from the speculative uh, uh, releases that we got, it's been going on for like 15 years. Uh, those are the information we gather from the neighbors. Uh, only this morning they begin to have some uh, sounds and invariably the thing came down. Standing here, it's been a very emotional moment. You know, every time we find an item of clothing, a pair of slippers, there's also hope that somebody has been found dead or alive. But so far, nothing has been found. As dawn breaks, the Director General of the National Emergency Management Agency addresses the press. And in his statement, he confirms the death of one person states that another is critically ill and that five others were rescued alive as the operation comes to a close. Kayla Megua, Channels Television News.